really it all kind of began, you know, for me. I was four years old when I first gave my heart to the Lord. I remember being, we had a split level house and I was downstairs uh, with my father on the couch and I accepted the Lord into my life. Going to Sunday school at church, um, baptism was kind of a graduation ceremony. Everyone was doing it, so like, why wouldn't I do it? Uh, it just made sense. Uh, I was part of just the church that I was going to. Um, so through that process, uh, I was baptized. About a year ago, um, baptism really started coming up. And I started thinking about it, and I'd hear Kevin talk about baptism and as an expression of your faith and all this. And I'm, I'm sitting there feeling like I should get baptized, but then thinking, like, how many times do you get baptized? Like, I've already been baptized. So I didn't really do anything about it. And then month after month, or however often baptism comes up, uh, it just kept being a thing. It's like, oh, I should get baptized. I should get baptized. I should get baptized. And I kept struggling and saying, why? <laughs> Uh, and then there was a Sunday about two, two months ago. Uh, once again, Kevin was on stage talking about baptism. And he said, even if you've been baptized before out of some religious type thing or whatnot, it's like, it doesn't matter, I'm not gonna ask any questions. Like, don't wait any longer. And I'm sitting there and my chest is just pounding. And then he talked about a baptism at 12 o'clock after that service. And I'm sitting there just like, I, I have to. I have to, I cannot leave this place without being baptized. As soon as the service ended, like I just found myself just bolting towards the front. And I look over and I see Jim there. I'm like, Jim, like, I need to get baptized. And he's like, okay, I'm like, but I need to do it now. Because <laughs> uh, I didn't want to wait. I didn't want to wait. I've been waiting for so long. And next thing I know, Jim's taking off his shoes, you know, getting ready to hop in. So I start taking off my shoes. I turn around, Jim's in the water, uh, fully clothed. Uh, I hop in the water, I'm fully clothed. Matt hops in the water, he's fully clothed. And my wife hopped in the water, um, she's fully clothed. So they had me pray and I prayed and they baptized me. Um, came up out of the water. And I'm still thinking, why am I doing this? And it was like there was a voice that was so calm and it said, thank you. It said, I have identified with you and now you've identified with me. And it was just a sense of the Lord just asking me to do something so simple just to identify with him. And it was just a simple thank you. I mean, I work with my father and he's always saying, since you've been baptized, you've just been more easygoing. You've just been, you know, lighter, like less worried, less stressed, like less whatever. And if you believe, like, don't wait. Like there's no point in waiting. Uh, it's nothing but goodness and it's just water. The Lord does ask us to do it, and it's more than just a dunking. It is a way to find identity in Him.